Hey, this is Jason with Glitch in the System. Today we are going to be working on the CSS project from the Udacity Grow with Google Challenge. The project is called Animal Trading Cards. So this is a project where you're going to have to do HTML and CSS to make this trading card. Uh, here is their prototype that you need to use as a reference. So basically title, image, and some text, some bullet points, and some more text, and then you're going to have a couple borders here. And that's pretty much it. So I am going to show you, this is my completed version, so I just made a super simple version for this demo, uh, but you can uh, make it more fancy. I saw on the on the chat that there were tons of different variations of this project. Uh, some people just did the simple version uh, like I did and with like the mock-up showed and some people went crazy and did all sorts of things adding colors and using weird animals and and whatnot. So uh, I'll show you how to do the basic and then uh, you can use your creativity to go on from there. All right, so I'm going to close this. So first thing we need to do is let's go over here actually. All right, let me close that. Okay, so when you grab your folder uh, of files uh, from Udacity, it's gonna look like this. So it's here's your folder name and it's gonna come with a bunch of these files. Uh, ignore this file that says git ignore, you don't need that. Um, you're gonna have a couple, three PNGs in here. So these are images. Actually, you'll ha have only two. Uh, one of these is the image that I downloaded. I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, your HTML file and your style file. So first thing we're going to do, let's clean this up a little bit and create a couple folders. One for CSS. One for images. All right. And guess what? Let's move that CSS in there. And then... Do, oh, why aren't you selecting? Oh, interesting. All right, move the image, move the image, and one more image. So now we have all of our images in that folder and our CSS file in the CSS folder. Let me close that. All right, so next thing to do, if you haven't already done so, is to choose your animal and get some information about it. Uh, as you can see, I used Pokemon, so I went to the site Bulbapedia bulbagarden.net and I chose the Squirtle my favorite Pokemon so I am going to find an image so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find an image that is wider than it is tall so that it looks uh, that, that it's gonna end up looking like what the mock-up did so uh, this one is not gonna work here because that's just a square um, this one another square this one cute maybe but there's one down here that I like all right so this is the one I like I'm gonna click on that so it gives me a good big version so if you don't know how to save a file to your, com your computer all you have to do is uh, right click on it save as and then it will ask you where uh, you want to save it um, you're gonna want to save this uh, in your folder uh, and you can just do it directly into the images uh, folder there. All right. So let me go back over here since this is where I have all my stuff. Okay. So I have my image, as you can see, in the images folder. And I'm going to go ahead and Get ready to start styling. So I opened up my HTML file and I opened up my style file. So looking at the rubric for the lesson, let me pull it over here real fast. So this is at the end of uh, on the Udacity site. You can find this for this project. So these are all the things that we need to do. Um, text is italicized for animals interesting fact. Labels are bolded dots are removed, etc, etc. Uh, but I'm going to start right here with uh, making the image 300 wide. So let me pull this back over. Let's open. First let's open this guy up. Open in browser. 
It's open in Chrome. So right now you can see this is where my image is supposed to be. Uh, it's not showing up because we moved it to that uh, folder. Let's see if I can do this side by side. We moved it to that folder um, right here. So we're going to have to change the reference, change our link actually. So we have a file called placeholder.png, but it's inside the images directory. So let's put images slash placeholder.png. Let's save that. Let's refresh our browser here. All right, now you can see that image is showing up. So. I'm going to just use the size that this has uh, later on. So I'm going to write down that I need an image that is 300 wide and 200 tall for my image once I style it. Uh, but first of all, let's change this to our new Pokemon picture. So I'm going to do images slash blue squirtle and save. Let's make sure this guy shows up. All right, so super huge. So we're going to need to fix that. but while we're in here, let's change the alt. So one of the one of the steps was to give it a good alt name attribute uh, alt alt attribute here. So I'm going to just call it Squirtle the Turtle Pokemon. All right. So what this alt does is that if for whatever reason this uh, people are using like screen readers for this, um, they would be able to. Uh, see this alt uh, or not see this alt they would they would hear the alt name so since they can't see the image they will hear squirtle the turtle pokemon uh, in its place all right so let's go ahead and add an attribute here for this so let's see since this is the only image that i'm dealing with i'm going to make an id so ID equals, and then your double quotes there. Let's call this pokey image. All right, I'm gonna save that. So watch that I refresh this, nothing happens because I haven't styled it yet. So go over here. Uh, for IDs, you have to put the hash sign. I paste in the name that I gave. Let's do a space and the curly brackets then hit enter. So this is how you want to format your CSS. You put your uh, selector here, a space, and then curly bracket, open curly bracket on the same line. On the next line is where you're going to start putting your styles. And then on the last line after everything, you're going to put your curly bracket. So this is how it should look. All right. So what we need to do, so width, and that one was 300 PX, so 300 pixels. And then height, 200 px. And don't forget your semicolon. All right, so let's refresh this guy. Oh, nothing happened. All right, so do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to add something to the head. I forgot to link my style sheet. So let's do link, not like link. So style sheet reference is, so remember we have a CSS folder slash styles.css. So save that, let's refresh again. And that looks much better. Okay, we have that part done. So let's start entering in uh, the text values in here from our uh, page. So let's see, animals name, Let's change that to Squirtle. 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 All right. And then we need an interesting fact goes here. So let's close that. See if I can find something interesting. Poke Squirtle is a small Pokemon that resembles a light blue turtle. Let's use this. I don't want anything too long. Paste that in there and period. And I'm going to word wrap this so it's easier to see. Word wrap. OK, there we go. Yeah, let's resize my window real fast. Sorry about that. OK, 
Okay, now we can see everything. Okay, so interesting fact. So now we need list of stuff. So he has a lot of attributes himself. So let's call this one uh, number. And then this one is going to be type. This one is going to be abilities. And this one is going to be, let's see. Oh, let's let's do let's do evolutions. All right, let's save that. Let's make sure that all of this is showing up real fast. Okay, so I got my little interesting fact here, and then number type abilities evolutions. Good. All right, so let's start filling this in. So number is zero zero seven. Type is water, and let's see. This one is going to be torrent and rain dash. Okay, and then the last one is going to be let's see, war turtle and blastoise. Okay, that looks good. All right, saved it. Let's refresh and see what happens. Okay, abilities torrent and rain dash and war turtle and blastoise. All right, let's notice one thing. You see how this is red? That's not really a good way to do do that. So let's Google um, HTML ampersand. All right, let's figure out the character code for this instead. So ampersand is this guy. save let's refresh okay so it looks the same but this is just the correct way to do it um, you, it can cause problems if you don't do it this way so let's do it the right way all right so almost done with information I need to write a brief description about him so I don't actually have to write it let's just find some let's find some let's use this it has large eyes and stuff all right just keep it short here. Paste, save, and let's see how it looks. Refresh. All right. Okay. We have all of our information loaded, so I'm going to close this guy. And I don't need that. Okay. So first thing we need to do now is text is italicized for the animal's interesting fact. So interesting fact is here. So... I don't see anywhere else that says it needs to be italicized, so I'm just going to give this an ID also. Let's see, let's call this fact. Save that. Copy that, all right. And put a couple breaks there. Remember, hashtag uh, fact, space. There's our formatting, okay. So we want it to be italicized. So do we remember what italicized looks like? Or what uh, what we need to do to italicize it? So we need to do, I believe it's font style and italic. Let's save that, refresh. Good, we got italics there. So that one is done. Next thing we need to do, labels are bolded. So labels are number, type, abilities, evolution. So it's the stuff inside of the span. So since we have more than one, we cannot use an ID because that would not work. We need to do a class. So remember class is multiple. You can use it multiple times, uh, but IDs you can only use it one time per page. So let's call this uh, label. And I'm gonna copy. Paste, paste, paste. All right, so we got our label, and now we have to do it over here. So for classes, you do a dot, but everything else looks the same. So let's see, this is font weight, uh, bold. Okay, save that, refresh. All right, looks good. So number, type, abilities, evolutions, all bolded. 
Okay, now we need to remove the dots from the bullet list. So what we need to do is go over to our UL tag here. Uh, since there's only one, I'm going to create an ID again. Let's call this list. Copy that. Let's save the file first. All right. So hash list. Oop, list. And we need to do list style equals none and save refresh all right dots are gone so that's that let's see now we get to start making borders so uses border around the animal's name image and information let's see so name so basically a border around the whole thing so Let's find out what is wrapping the whole thing. So, okay. All right, so you see this div, how it highlighted up here and down here? So this is wrapping the whole content. So it's going from our H3 tag here all the way down to our description down here. So let's go ahead and do that there. So I'm gonna do ID equals, let's call this main. Div. Oh, div and copy. Save that. Number ID is that sign. Door format. All right, so we want a border. So border has to have three things. So the size, space, uh, the color and the type of border so solid save let's see what happens all right so we have a border around the whole thing and i believe we need another one so we need another one about around the animals information so from here to here so let's go back here let's see here um Squirtle and yep, so the second div so ID equals I'm just going to call this second Div you can come up with a better name if you want And I'm just going to copy this because it's pretty much the same except It's called second All right, so refresh so you can kind of see that so it looks like we have some overlap here, but we will fix that later. But we have a border around the whole thing, and then we have a border around the information section, which is what we needed at the moment. All right, so next. Spacing between animal's name, age, and information. So, animal's name. I said age, image. So name, image, and information. So what we need to do is, so let's put some space uh, between the image and this box here. So since we already have a selector for the image right here, let's do, what should we do? Let's do margin, oops, margin bottom. So we only want the bottom margin to move. And let's go about 10 pixels and see how that looks. Okay, you see how it jumped down there, add a little space. That's good. Let's see, what else do we do? Information. Let's see. The fact here. So I don't like that it's up against the wall here. So let's do margin. That. 10 pixels margin right it's 10 pixels and refresh so starting to look better all right let's do what else I'm gonna copy this let's see what happens when we do this to the list okay Put and in the middle more. Let's see what else can we do. Name div. 
let's give some uh, all right let's fix this issue where this is overlapping here so let's do on the main div let's give padding let's do about 15 px fresh all right that looks much better so we have some space around here um, a little more space here space there let's fix this guy um did we create anything for this we did not so let's give this guy an id id equals info Save that. And what do we want to do? We want to do that. Okay. All right. That looks good. So we got this lined up here. This is in the middle there. That's all good. And let's see what else we need to do looking at the rubric. All right, card width should be fixed and include the spacing around the image. Card should be 300 px plus spacing on either side. So that means the card needs to be 300 width with spacing on plus the spacing. So that means the all the padding and all the margins. So we need to do, I believe it's on the main div, width. 300 oops. save and refresh all right so there we have it so now we have our card and it looks looks like a card now everything still lined up even though it uh, squashed it down but it still looks good Let's see what else do we have to do I think that's it so that is the basics of of this card uh, feel free to add color um, do other things like a border radius, uh, background images, whatever you like uh, to spruce it up or and use a different Pokemon or a different animal or whatever you like uh, to to enhance your own trading card. All right. So if you like the video, like it, um, subscribe. I will come back next time with whatever project Udacity throws at us. And that's it. See you guys.